black and white photo of Manzanar barracks with American flag waving, barbed wire fence scrolls from left to right, then words, 10 camps, 10 stories beyond the barbed wire on the screen. Background image of Ruth Asawa, forever stamps, with words good from bad, Ruth Asawa, Rower Relocation Center, Arkansas, and photo of Ruth Asawa with one of her biomorphic wire sculptures. Color photo of Ruth Asawa, Japanese American internment memorial, bronze bas relief in San Jose, California. Black and white photo of Ruth Asawa holding one of her grandchildren in front of her Japanese internment memorial bronze. Ruth Asawa was a renowned American modernist sculptor and educator. Born in 1926. Black and white photo of Ruth Asawa as a child. She grew up with her six siblings. Black and white photo of Ruth Asawa and her sister. On her parents' California farm. Close-up shot of Ruth Asawa's bronze sculpture showing the family's California farm. Ruth was 16 when Executive Order 9066 was issued. Black and white photo of Ruth Asawa's school class with Ruth highlighted. In February 1942, black and white video of FBI agents rounding up Japanese American citizens. Ruth's father, Umakichi Asawa was arrested by FBI agents and incarcerated at a separate detention camp in New Mexico. Hello. Voice of Ruth Asawa. Close up of Ruth Asawa bronze showing workers in the field. It was about 11 o'clock and two men came. Close up image of Ruth Asawa bronze showing two FBI agents showing their badge to Ruth's father, Umakichi. And, and they flashed your badge and they said, you know, we're from the FBI, we come to pick you up. And so he came in and they allowed him to eat lunch and and we ironed a shirt for him and he got his, into his black suit. And then... Uh, black and white photo of Ruth's father, Umakichi, standing next to a table with a book on it. Then he, uh, then he went with him. For six months, she didn't know if her father lived. Close-up images from Ruth Asawa's bronze statue showing a little girl with her hands in her face and a little girl clutching her mom's back. She didn't see him again for six years. She and her family were taken to the Santa Anita racetrack Close-up image of Ruth Asawa bronze statue showing military police at the Santa Anita racetrack and horse. The largest detention center on the West Coast. Black and white video showing the Santa Anita detention center with barracks in the background. More than 19,000 Japanese Americans passed. Black and white photo of Japanese Americans in the stands at Santa Anita racetrack through it on their way to the camps. Close-up photo of bronze statue by Ruth Asawa showing guard shack and military truck at the camp. For much of 1942, the Asawa family was forced to live in barracks. Made Black and white photos showing Japanese Americans living in horse stalls at the Santa Anita Detention Center. From horse stalls. Among the incarcerates, Black and white photo showing three incarcerates at Santa Anita who were Walt Disney illustrators. Were animators from the Walt Disney Studios who conducted lessons in the stands of the track. Black and white video showing Japanese Americans in the stands at Santa Anita racetrack. Without long hours of farm chores. 
Close-up photo of Ruth Sawa bronze statue showing art classes taking place at Santa Anita Detention Center. Ruth used her free time to practice art. In September 1942, black and white photo showing Japanese American incarcerates loading on trains heading to camp. The Asawa family was sent by train to an incarceration camp in Rower, Arkansas. Sign on the right side with Rower Relocation Center built for War Relocation Authority with trucks driving across railroad tracks loaded with furniture. Where Ruth continued to spend most of her time painting and drawing. Black and white photo of Ruth Asawa sitting with a sketch pad. She attended high school in the camp. Black and white photo of eight incarcerates, four boys kneeling in the front and four girls in the back, including Ruth Asawa on the right side. Studied art. Black and white photo of a young Ruth Asawa standing in a flowery dress at the camp. And volunteered as the art editor for the school yearbook. Picture of two girls with umbrellas walking on a boardwalk at the barracks at Camp Rower. Azawa's period of incarceration came to an end in August 1943 when she was issued an identification card by the War Relocation Authority. Color photo of Ruth Asawa's War Relocation Authority ID number 17841. It permitted her to travel to a college in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Black and white photo of a group of college students with Ruth Asawa highlighted where she intended to become an art teacher. Her high school English teacher from Rower, black and white photo showing four female incarcerates sitting on the bumper of an old car with their teacher, Mrs. Beasley, standing on the bumper. Mrs. Beasley drove her to the train station. She told Ruth, this is a terrible thing my government has done to your people. Don't look back on your life here. You must go on. Black and white photo of Ruth Asawa sitting, looking to the right, with a stack of lumber behind her. Ruth never returned to Rower. She did not see her parents again until 1948, three years after her release. From 1946, black and white photos of Black Mountain College buildings. To 1949, Asawa attended the Black Mountain Experimental School in North Carolina. Black and white photo of Ruth Asawa with another female sitting on a trailer behind a tractor. She said, Black Mountain gave you the right to do anything you wanted to do. Ruth Asawa with three other Black Mountain College students, including future husband Albert Lanier wearing cap. During her studies there, she met Albert Lanier Black and white photo of Albert Lanier wearing a knit cap, white shirt, and black tie. In 1947. Black and white photo of Albert Lanier in cap in the driver's seat of an old Ford with Ruth Asawa in the passenger seat. By July 1949, they were married and started a family. Black and white photo of Ruth Asawa with one of her babies. Having six children. Asawa believed that children are like plants. Black and white photo of Albert Lanier and Ruth Asawa sitting in a tree with their five children on branches. If you feed them and water them, generally they'll grow. Black and white photo of Ruth Asawa working on one of her biomorphic wire baskets. 1947 was a pivotal year for Asawa. She traveled to Mexico where she learned to loop wire baskets for eggs by a local craftsman, which would inspire her later work with wire. Black and white photo of Ruth Asawa standing next to a completed wire basket. She was especially known for her biomorphic wire forms and public art installations. Color video of Ruth Asawa working on one of her wire baskets. Quote is being read by Ruth Asawa's daughter, Addie Lanier. The craftsman there showed her how to make egg baskets out of a galvanized wire. And then when she got back to Black Mountain College, she was just playing with the wire again in these kind of basket forms. Black and white photo of Ruth's wire baskets hanging suspended from the ceiling. And one of her friends says, 
What happens if you close it up? Black and white photo of Ruth Asawa looking up and to the right, working on one of her wire baskets. And so she closed it up to see what would happen. And that's where the first sculpture comes. Color photo of Ruth Asawa in a blue shirt and glasses, writing something on a piece of paper with many of her wire baskets hanging behind her. Where it's not a utilitarian, it's not practical, it's suspended. She advocated. Color photo of Ruth Asawa school taken from the running track. For the creation of the first public arts high school on the West Coast in the heart of San Francisco. Color video showing the unveiling of the sign for the Ruth Asawa School for the Arts. In 2010, the school was renamed the Ruth Asawa San Francisco School of the Arts. Color photo of Ruth Asawa working on one of her wire sculptures with her five children looking on. I really feel like she wanted children to know the joy of making art, making something from nothing. Her final public commission was the Garden of Remembrance at San Francisco State University. Color photo of Ruth Asawa's Garden of Remembrance. A collaboration with art gallery director Mark Johnson Color photo of Isao Ogora and Shiguro Namba pointing at the garden. And landscape artists Isao Ogura and Shigeru Namba. Color video of Japanese red maple blowing in the wind. The garden honors the 19 Japanese American San Francisco State University students whose dreams of a higher education were interrupted by the U.S. government when they were forced into incarceration camps. Asawa's idea was to bring 10 large boulders to sit in a grassy meadow by the Fine Arts Building. Several color photos of Garden of Remembrance. Each boulder came from one of the 10 incarceration camps representing bleakness and deprivation, while a flowing waterfall symbolized the liberty of the incarcerates after the war. Voice of Mark Johnson. First on this grassy area, she wanted to disperse boulders. And these boulders for her were memories or evocations of the internment camps. And she laid out these boulders, more or less how the camps were dispersed in the continental United States. Color video of incarcerates loading on a train with Ruth is how a quote read by her daughter, Addie Lanier. She spoke of this project. A lot of students don't know about the internment camps. They believe that it doesn't affect them. Color video of incarcerates walking around the barracks at camp. But I think it's important that they recognize what took place. Color video of older male incarcerate painting. I thought it would be nice if we could do something that told the story Color video of female incarcerates holding a porcelain figurine. But not in a bitter way, and not just as a Japanese story. Color video of incarcerate working as a surveyor and video of a line worker working on electrical pole. This is a story about liberty and freedom. Color photo of U.S. Postal Service Ruth Asawa forever stamps. In 2019, the U.S. Postal Service issued the Ruth Asawa Commemorative Forever Stamps, showcasing 10 of Asawa's wire sculptures. Color photo of logo of California Hall of Fame. In 2021, she was inducted into the California Hall of Fame. In 1994, when she was 68, black and white photo showing Ruth Asawa in the bottom right corner with several of her wire sculptures behind her. Ruth Asawa reflected on her incarceration. Close-up black and white photo of Ruth Asawa's face and a Ruth Asawa quote read by daughter Addie Lanier. I hold no hostilities for what happened. I blame no one. Sometimes good comes through adversity. I would not be who I am today had it not been for the internment and I like who I am. Credits, black screen with white letters.
black screen with color National Park Service arrowhead.